Hi, in this video I will talk about sample points. Now you can access them from Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Sample Points and you get this dialog here and uh, you might want to dock it for example here to have a quick access to, to that. Uh, another way to dock a dialog here is to click on this arrow here, add a tab and select one. For example, let's select the navigation tab here, see how quickly I dock that. Now sample points here gives us an information about a selected pixel and the way we drag a sample point is by holding the control key and clicking on the ruler, the horizontal or vertical ruler and you see here down here in the corner you have coordinates and just for example I want a sample point here on this leaf, I release and I get this sample point. Now if you don't want to see it this uh, marker here in the number of the sample point you can go to view and uncheck this and you won't be able to see it but this sample point still be active here and the way you remove them you again click the control key and you mouse over you see how it becomes red you grab it with your mouse and you remove it in the roar so let's drag another one here. Now down here in the dialog you see you have some information. There are different modes here. In pixel mode you get information uh, for the red, green, blue alpha values in uh, numbers from 0 to 255. In the RGB mode here you get the same information plus the hex code and this time the numbers are in percentages in the hue saturation value here you see the hue, the saturation and the value and alpha in percentages and also you have this other color profile here that you can select so let's go back to pixels another thing here if you click on this arrow you see sample points menu, sample merged what this means is that when we drag a sample point it will sample from all the visible layers right now we have only one layer but if you want to sample from only the active layer you may want to turn this off so that's it for this video and uh, actually my first video was about advanced color uh, correction using sample points and curves and you might want to go and watch that video I'll put a link in the description to see how you can uh, use these sample points to color correct your images. Bye for now.